everybody. Welcome back to Sally's Backyard. I'm Sally. This is Riley. And uh, if you're new, thanks for joining me. If you've been with me for a little while, thanks for coming back. Uh, got some fun things to share this week. And uh, yeah, so let's see what we can get into. <laughs> everybody how are you doing today so i'm back at the beads um i got a couple that i've been a uh, couple uh, strands that i've been wanting to make bracelets out of so i'll show you what i'm working on right now this is called larimar and it's this really pretty blue i just love that blue it's so pretty um and then i have some little seed pearls um that i got so i'm gonna try to put something together here with this i'm just kind of planning it out so yeah that's what i'm working on today rainy uh chilly day it's in the 60s so it's not too bad but just a little too wet to work outside um so i'm going to work on some beading and then maybe work on some knitting this afternoon hope you're all having a great day see you in a little bit so i ended up with a very simple design i uh, just put the larimar beads uh together with the seed pearls just um every other bead and yeah, I think it's really pretty. So another pretty little stretch bracelet to add to my collection. And uh, I'd like to learn how to make some different kinds of jewelry. I'm looking at earrings and maybe some rings. So we'll see, Just uh, I'm just enjoying learning and enjoying the process. I showed you these beads in my last video um, last week and these are called Chrysocolla. So I wanted to show you that they match my boneyard shawl. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, that's gonna have to be made into something that I can wear with this shawl. Very cool. <laughs> We've got a cardinal nest in this tree. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. You can see just that little dark area right there. <laughs> yeah, the cardinals have been uh, flitting around the front porch a lot lately and I couldn't figure out why. And uh, then the other day I saw the mother hop into the nest. So I'm not sure if there's babies there yet, but I know she's sitting on eggs. So I'll keep you posted if I see any uh, baby cardinals. That's the first time I've seen a cardinal's nest. Um, so that should be fun to watch. Hi everybody. Um, so today I went to lunch with a friend. Uh, I haven't seen her in probably over a year. Um, it was wonderful. It was wonderful to see her and to talk with her. And it just felt good to be out uh, having lunch in a cafe. It was... <laughs> I've missed that and I missed her too, um, but I want to show you some of the artwork uh, that she gave me today. Is that not the cutest you've ever seen? <laughs> She's so talented. This is a, uh, a cutting board um, and she uh, did the artwork of the cow. I just love that. I just think it's so cute. another one that she did. 
um, that I'll put out this fall. I just love it. I love her style. You may have seen this in other videos, just in the background. She did this one of Riley, and uh, it's a place where we can hang his leash. And the she just captured him so well, his personality and his eyes. I just love it so much. It was fun to see her today and fun to catch up. It felt good to be out of the house. I, it's been so long. Um, we, uh, we both had so much to talk about. And uh, hopefully now we can see each other a little more often. Well, as you can see, I am thoroughly obsessed with uh, making beaded bracelets. <laughs> Um, I made one for a friend with the same uh, combination of beads, just a little different style, um, and she loved it. And this is a mood bead, so I'll just put my fingers over it for a second. You know, like the old mood rings? Oh, let me see if I can get it to change color a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You can kind of see that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of fun something different so yeah that's what i've been working on this afternoon since i got home and uh yeah i'm enjoying this hi everybody um it's a really nice evening out tonight it's been very warm uh the past few days uh, but i thought i'd come outside and show you a uh, little knitting progress i've been talking so much about beads i didn't want you to think this was turning into a beading podcast <laughs> Uh, but I like to get into a lot of things, so you never know. So here is my, um, here's my boneyard shawl. And I've been working on this quite a bit. So it's growing. Slow but sure. <laughs> I am a slow knitter, but that's okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be really pretty once it's done. I just love that colorway. It's a uh, Arroyo yarn, um, it's Malabrigo, and the colorway is called Azules, which Azul means blue, so I'm assuming that means blues. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just been working on that a little bit, and I have made some progress on my Moonbow Cardi. I finished the front panel, or I finished one front panel, and I finished the back panel, and this is where I'm at on the, uh, the other front panel. So I'm getting there. This shouldn't take me too long. And then I've got two sleeves to make and uh, pockets uh, if I want them. I'm going to see how heavy the sweater is uh, once it's finished to see if I want to put pockets on it or not. I love pockets on a sweater, but this is a pretty bulky yarn. This is the Hue and Me uh, Fatigues colorway. Hue and Me by Lion Brand. It's a uh, acrylic wool blend, but it's chunky. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to do the pockets or not. I'm going to just see how it feels. So that's where I'm at knitting wise. Um, I haven't started anything new. Uh, I've been, you know, obviously working in my garden and working on some beading and yeah, so, so that's where I'm at with my knitting. And, um, I did, uh, buy a, a new pattern today and I'll show you that in a little bit. I hope you're all having a great day. Hi everybody. Um, so remember the palette that we picked up a couple of episodes ago? Uh, hubby was going to make that into a planter for me. So let me show you what I've got. There it is. Yeah, he finished it for me this weekend. So I'm really excited about it. It looks great. It's even got feet on the bottom to uh, elevate it a little bit from the patio. And uh, we lined it with some plastic just to keep the dirt uh, from falling through the cracks but we do have drain holes uh, in the bottom so uh, it won't get it won't hold water um, so yeah I need to put a little more dirt in there and I've got some seeds uh, figured out that I want to put in there so yeah got my uh, my new pallet planter <laughs> so thanks for that hubby I love it so in this big pot I uh, planted some glads and some hollyhocks and some cosmos uh, and those are all taller plants they're all taller flowers um, so I just wanted to show you what I do to support those. I just uh, use these tomato cages. Um, we cut off uh, the very top uh, portion because uh, they don't need to be that tall. Uh, but they work really well to support larger flowers, taller flowers in pots. Um, and I've had really good luck with that over the years. So I just thought I'd share that little tip with you. 
Um, and you can see there is a glad coming up and some other things. I think those are the cosmos that are coming up. So yeah, I'm anxious to see how all those flowers uh, will look together. It's the first time I've grown hollyhocks in a pot uh, with the glads and cosmos. So uh, yeah, it should be really pretty this summer. It is a very warm and uh, humid day here in Ohio. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this week's episode and I'm gonna spend some time today inside in the air conditioning knitting and getting caught up on some podcasts. Quite a few dropped over the weekend and uh, just sounds like a good way to start my week. So thanks again for joining me. Uh, I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.